Okay, this is a test. I'm Dr. Eschenberg from the University of Mississippi. What we have here is the makings of a ping pong bomb. Now, the parts are as follows. One, bag of ping pong balls. Two, you need the container. In this case, it is a garbage can. Three, you have hot water to excite our trigger, which is liquid nitrogen. Now, this is just a standard Pepsi bottle. From what I have seen online, it has to be of a plastic variety for safety purposes. And <clears throat> we're going to fill it about halfway. In this particular test, it's a 20 fluid ounce bottle. And so that's a little bit more, more than what we want. I've never done this before. So this should be exciting. Now, as that gets ready to boil, the plan is this. Water goes in first on the bottom. Then we cap this drop it into the container, and then we put the ping pong balls on top. Now this is a bag of about four gross, or a little over 500. And so when the water gets done boiling, we'll get the show on the road. This is a one attempt only. It's either going to dud or explode over here. Now, it's just me. I plan on picking everything up, and they'll never know it happened. Unless they find my corpse. The future models, this 20-ounce bottle will move up to a 1-liter bottle, and we will get more balls. Um, the demos that I've seen, the balls have been on the order of uh, like 1,500 to 2,000. So, I was supposed to meet somebody. They did not show up, so idle hands of the devil's playground. Never leave me in a room alone with liquid nitrogen. All right, here we go. So the hot water is in. Now when we cap it, my one problem is that I do not have an assistant. Probably with the assistant, they would be the one holding the bag so that when I drop this, um, it will be very fast. Um, I need like a towel or something. This is getting very cold. Now when this goes off, or when we put the cap on, pressure will build. So first mistake, half of it spilled on the ground. I don't know what's going to happen now. It's 
exciting. Cracked through the can and destroyed the garbage can. So that was a pretty serious blast. In the other thing, um, in the other garbage can demos, they uh, they went totally upwards. So apparently it uh, there was some resistance and some of them were destroyed now we do have water on the floor there is fortunately a blast shield for the Elmo which is our electrical piece of equipment and it was protected from the shrapnel of water now so in this particular blast, it went from side to side. There are um, ping pong balls roughly 10 to 15 feet back, limited numbers. Most of it stayed um, in a horizontal pattern. It did not go into, um, into the crowd. So the troubling thing is that when you become adult supervision, um, you get to do things like this. So, physics 213, 214 signing off. And yes, I'm going to clean this up now. <laughs>